What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. So as you can see from the title, it is true. Pass or force, even though I still think they're shit, have come through and delivered my package. It is here. As you can see, it's an Amazon box. I'm going to check over there and we're going to do an unboxing. And it is here. I've been way too excited about this Garmin Vivo Fit actually arriving. So before I show you guys my address, we're going to quickly rip that off. And we're going to get into this baby. I'm going to show you guys what's in the package. I'm going to show you kind of what it does, run you through some of the features, tell you whether you should buy it or not, which will probably be what I'll be telling you in a couple of weeks. I don't want to tell you if it's good or not, like in about 10 minutes of using it, because that'd be a terrible review. But in such a big box, it is a pretty small box actually. They're packed in a huge box, but there it is. There it is, the Garmin Vivo Fit, the thing that I've been waiting for for the last couple of days. Just sweet, as you can see, I'll show you the, the sides of the box as well. And there, but just for any of you guys that like reading stuff, you can pause the screen. And as you can see here, it's got a step goal. So how many steps you've got left, it tells you. It's also got the time, it's also got a heart rate, I have got a heart rate monitor one, and it also tells you how good or bad your sleep was, so we're going to actually bust this baby on one, we're going to open it from the bottom, let's see, so we're going to pull this out, let whatever fall on the bottom, fall on the bottom, there's the Garmin heart rate strap, which feels like a lot better quality than my other one, there's a heart rate strap, nothing too crazy. I mean, it's a heart rate strap. If you've used one before, you will know what that is. And then as you can see here, instructions booklet. Honestly, you guys know me, really care about that. As you can see, instructions, instructions, instructions. Next up, we have the actual product. Now, what comes in the box is two wrist straps. Now, it comes with two because you have the small wrist strap for people with small hands. I doubt this would actually fit my wrist because I've got pretty big wrists. As you can see, the small comes nowhere near. So, obviously, the large one is going to be for me. And I have to say now, the one thing people have actually been moaning about with this thing is the wrist strap, is the clasp that comes with it to actually hook it onto your hand. And I've heard of tons of people saying that the clasp on it is just terrible and that it doesn't lock properly. But a lot of people were saying that you've actually got to properly hook it in and, and find the hole that's comfortable for you and the hole that, that fits your hand properly and it'll fit, it'll work perfectly. So there it is. And there is the front. The whole thing is controlled by one button. So we're gonna peel this off. And that is basically it. I'm not going to show you any of the features now because that was just that was just the unboxing. That was just me showing you guys what was in the box. But as you can see there, there's the bottom of it. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. It's pretty simple as well, which I like. So I'm going to go and try this out. I'm going to go and set it up. And then I'll talk about the features and kind of what it does and how it's performing later on through the vlog. It's setup time, guys, as you can see. Completing setup of your Vivo Fit. We've got a little timer on the actual Vivo Fit, which is pretty sweet. And then a little timer bar, which should be finishing in 10 seconds. I finally set everything up. It took me about half hour to kind of set everything up, put my details in, my weight, my height, how active I am, and kind of figure out the app a little bit more and actually give a little play about with the actual uh, Vivo fit but here it is on and I'm actually wearing the heart rate monitor as you can see there I'm actually wearing the heart rate monitor right now so it's reading my heart rate now as you can see as I got the heart rate monitor on it isn't jumping as much as the other heart rate monitor that I had the other one would be like 65 60 75 80 74 73 79 and it jump all over the place where is this Seems to be pretty stable. I'll go to 77, stay there, 78, 79. It's kind of going up one or two, and then dropping down one or two, and giving kind of a working average. Whereas the last hat rep monitor I had was kind of, it jump all over the place, and it was hard to kind of grasp 
what your actual heart rate was because it jumped from 60 and you go, oh my heart rate 60 and then look down again they'd be at 70 so you didn't quite know so heart rate monitoring is pretty solid and it got everything that I need it's got how many steps I'm taking it's got how many calories I'm burning which is something that I still don't know because it says on there 1800 calories now I definitely haven't burnt that I'm not sure if that's how many calories I'll burn if I hit my goal maybe that's it because um, they set you a goal they set you a goal at the start and they say can you get 10,000 steps and I think to be honest the amount I actually walk throughout the day I'd probably do 10,000 steps just doing insanity so um, I think I'm gonna have to up that goal a little bit I'm gonna work it out tonight I'm gonna wait while I'm training and we'll actually see how many steps I'm actually doing but I'm saying that I'll probably do around five to 10,000 just from doing insanity because that's how insanity is. It's kind of you jump around, you're running, you're jumping, you're skipping, you're doing this, you're doing that. So I'm not too sure. I feel as though my, I've got really strong legs because I just do so much walking, whether I'm in work walking. I think I easily do 10,000 steps just walking around in work because that is my job. You could say that my job is to just walk around all day. And the only difference is I'm holding a strimmer at the same time. So this is actually the main reason why I wanted to get this guy was to kind of, for myself, to kind of say, wow, you walk 10,000 steps a day. You walk 20,000 steps a day. And kind of get in my mind at how many steps I'm actually taking. But the cool thing about this is if I put my goal at 10,000 and I walk 10,000 steps, tomorrow my goal will be 10,500. And they add it up and add it up and add it up. And if you don't hit your goal, they bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. So it's all a matter of kind of finding a happy medium on the day you're on, which is awesome. So now I'm going to go and sort the vlog out, which is quite funny because I've just put something on that's going to track my fitness. And I'm going to sit behind the computer for an hour. But that's the good thing about the Vivo Fit again, is that if I do sit down behind my computer for an hour, a little bar will appear on the top of the band. And then for every 15 minutes after that, that I don't actually do much activity, a little bar will appear after that big bar. So it's kind of a little, Dale, get off your ass and do something, little motivator, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go and sort the vlog. Uh, then we're gonna get ready for insanity, get training out of the way. But guys, look at this weather. It is amazing. And it's been absolutely boiling all day. This weather's awesome. So guys, let's see how accurate this baby really is. I'm sitting at my computer and I'm at 279 steps. When I've come off my computer, let's see how many steps are at then and see if it actually doesn't count when you just move your hand like this. So guys, as you can see, all the red bars are now at the top, which means I've pretty much been sat at my computer, which I have been doing for two hours doing nothing at all. Now, as you can see, it went from, I think, 279 to 308. There was only one reason for that. I had a little scratching fit and ended up being really itchy all over my head and my face. So I ended up going all crazy and having an itching fit, which is why it obviously calculated uh, steps. And then I actually got up and put my heart rate strap on, which counted a couple more steps. Look at this guy. This guy looks like he probably bite your leg off if you got a chance. Red and orange in colour and stuff. Give him half a chance, he'd probably take your wages at the end of the week. <laughs> so guys, another late night. We're just getting ready and right now it is like 10 to 11. Not too great, but we're gonna get it done. And again, we took a coffee shop before. A coffee shop at like half past 10 at night isn't a good idea. We know that, but we gotta do it. Gotta get it out of the way because we missed the session last Wednesday, like I told you guys. Missed last week's session because it was my brother's birthday and all the family was around. So we carried last Wednesday session to our recovery day on Monday today. So we should be training today, but we got to do the session that we missed on Wednesday. So we've got some news. Yesterday I weighed in. Um, uh, since I've weighed in a week ago, I lost four pounds. So that's pretty exciting. And also because I've got my new band, I actually had to weigh myself and put in my right weight. I weighed in and I was 241.6 last time I weighed in, which would have been the start of the new cycle of insanity. And then I just weighed in today and I was 
236. So I've lost five pounds in two weeks, which I'm happy about. If I can lose that, if I can push a bit harder the next two weeks, I could push for a stone in a month on Insanity, which I'll be more than happy with. But we've got to get this session out of the way now. I'm going to give this a good run today and see how I can keep up with my steps and my heart rate and stuff like that and see how that goes. We've got to get training now because it's late and I don't want to be up at like 12 o'clock still running around like a madman. So let's do this. And we're also going to give you guys a new view of the training sessions because I realized that they're always too low and you can only see Ethan or you can only see me. You can normally only see Ethan. So I've put the tripod up here. So now I'm here and this will be able to show basically the both of us. So if I did a rep, you guys would be able to see it perfectly fine and stuff like that. Pure cardio today. And you guys are going to see how we do it. So, warmer, stretch done, now time for the actual session. We haven't actually had a rest day this week it is straight back into week three month one cycle two tomorrow no breaks we gotta catch up now we did take that day off last week so no rests back into it the watch was awesome didn't feel as though it was cutting my circulation at all and because of that as you can see there if I do a push-up that's my hand for a push-up say it doesn't stop it doesn't stop my range of motion, as you can see, which is awesome. I love that part of the watch, is that I can do push-ups, I can do anything which involves my wrists, and, and extend my wrist as far as I can, and it doesn't affect my wrist, wrist which is perfect. But it performed well, kept my heart beat up high, uh, registered my heart beat high. When I was training, it was high. When I was resting, it dropped, which was good. Um, and it's awesome, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I've, been, I've done half my goal for my steps today. I'm doing a 10,000 step challenge a day. And just from doing training and kind of walking around this afternoon through the house, I've pretty much done half of that goal already. So I think when I actually get to go into work tomorrow, I'm pretty much gonna smash that goal. But good session. I think the session went amazing. Uh, I checked my watch and I've been 275 calories. So I mean, it's good, but I don't think it's accurate. So I spoke today about picking one of these up myself for my birthday next Saturday or the Saturday after next so uh, just gotta wait until then and that is tea done I've got a handful of pasta and a big muscle food chicken breast with some tomato sauce and it all came up to 216 calories so there it is my post-workout evening meal and as you can see here my food is done for the day and I'm 
bang on with my macros. 35% of my diet has been carbs, which is my goal. 20% has been fat, which is my goal. 45% has been protein, which is my goal. Perfect. So guys, that's the end of the vlog. I've just had my food. Training's done out of the way. Work's done out of the way. It's time to get into bed and get some rest. So that's the end of the vlog. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to leave a thumbs up. I did try and put a lot of footage in about the gam in vivo fit and tell you guys about it. I will talk about it over the next couple of weeks a lot more and a lot more in depth and actually try and give you guys a little review and tell you whether you should buy it or not. I've actually got it on right now to track my sleep. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the vlog. If you enjoyed it, maybe thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button because there's going to be a new My Protein unboxing tomorrow, which will be pretty interesting. That's the end of the vlog. Speak to you guys later. Peace. Bye.